Hey guys, what is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and uh, a few of you guys were a little lost in the last uh, Skyrim Naruto, mostly because the voice changer I didn't realize was, uh, how do I say it, shitty. The, the option I chose was really bad and you couldn't really hear it, so for the sake of the lore of, um, what, of uh, the series, uh, pretty much, I'm gonna be here to explain to you pretty much the gist of what Arca, or not Arca, but the Unknown Uchiha said to, um, said to Stryker. Now, I'm only gonna be going over the important bits, the rest of it's really not that all important. Um, so first things first, the first thing that was said to him that was, uh, was that the prophecy that Stryker has been following is actually an incomplete prophecy. And Stryker wanted to know how he knew that, and so the unknown Uchiha, who I've never given a name, he doesn't have a name, uh, because I haven't needed him to have a name, um, he is Stryker's father. So the one that we just fought, or the one that we just killed and spoke to, that was Stryker's father. And when Stryker was young, um, the sensei, the one that betrayed us, uh, took Stryker's eyes from him, and it was under his father's, you know, uh, his father's blessing, because they believed that the Ten Seigon, which was almost like a Mangekyo uh, Byakugan, almost, um, was stronger than the Renegon. However, that turned out to be false. The Ten Seigon, in this case, was given to Stryker as a way to keep him under wraps because the only way to stop the sen uh, his sensei is with the Sharingan. So, that's the first piece of information. That unknown Jiga, that's Stryker's father. The second piece of information is this. The full prophecy is this. A um, Arka Uchiha... Uh, okay, well, here's the, here's the fake prophecy, sorry. The fake prophecy was this. Arka Uchiha will place Yoroma Uchiha under the infinite Tsukiyomi in the hopes of being able to harvest his eyes to make a limitless Renegon. However, the true prophecy that Stryker's father told him about is this. Yoroma is not Arka Uchiha's son. Yoroma is Stryker's son. It's gonna, it's gonna be his son. and Which makes Arka Uchiha... Stryker's grandfather. Now, the whole prophecy is based around this. Um, being put under the infinite Tsukiyomi, it'll give him, uh, it'll give Yoroma enough time to gain powers that no one has ever thought possible, even with the Renegon. But, Sensei, that betrayed us, wants to use the prophecy to his own advantage, which means if Stryker would have continued on the way he was going. Yoroma would have been put into the infinite Tsukiyomi. And all the events of Season 3 would have continued as followed. And then Yoroma would have awoken in a post-apocalyptic world where no chakra exists. Because the infinite Tsukiyomi took over everybody except Yoroma. Or everybody including Yoroma. That's where the Fallout series comes into play. Now if the prophecy goes the way it's supposed to go... The Fallout series would not have happened. Yoroma will wake up in a normal world full of loved ones and people he cares about and yada yada yada. And it's going to be wonderful. So that was the second bit of information that uh, Stryker's father um, pretty much gave. And the second, or the, I guess the third piece of information is that the Sharingan eyes that we received from our father because we're striker is not really his eyes the sensei took our father's eyes um, so, uh, sometime after we were taken under our sensei's wing and recently our sensei tried to steal our mother's eyes and failed but our mother died so our father has been using her eyes and getting them more and more powerful for when it was our time to take over them because there are birthrights which he was going to give to us 
Now, that Sharingan isn't just our mother's, they are the founder's eyes, which means Izuna's eyes, the ver of Izuna, uh, Hash or Hashirama, Izuna Otsutsuki, the very first Sharingan eyes to ever awaken, which means these eyes are going to be more powerful than anything we've ever seen. So, that's pretty much the gist of it, there really isn't too much else that was really said, um, so I hope this clears it up a little bit, guys. I know there was a lot of, like, jumping around in this one. I didn't really have a, you know, a set way for this to go. But a lot of you guys really didn't understand uh, what he was saying. And I did not want the lore to get lost. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this clears some things up. And remember, guys, if you're enjoying the series, comment down below if this one cleared up some things for you and two if you're enjoying the series because I, I love this series I I mean come on I've been playing Skyrim for four seasons now and it's it's amazing it's an amazing game but yeah guys I love you all I'll talk to you later I hope this cleared a lot of things up for you and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed it peace yeah.